Hello there everybody and welcome to Slain. This is a game that I've been following its production for such a long time. I'm so excited to actually show you guys what this game is about. It got released on Steam last night. There was a little bit of delay with regards to the actual releasing itself. Um, literally like a couple of hours, uh, which provoked quite a lot of people. A lot of people are looking forward to playing this and I can understand why. It's... It scratched an itch that I've had for a very, very long time. I've wanted to play a game that resembles Metroid, that resembles Castlevania. It's got cool art, it's got a cool soundtrack, and it's hard. And this game busts all those in one beautiful package. I'm really, really, really excited to go playing. I've played about five minutes of the game and read a little guide on um, Steam as well. Um, because a lot of people have actually come into the game with negative thoughts. They've gone, oh, there's there's no real tutorial. The combat system doesn't have 37 million moves like Devil May Cry. It's like, no, this, this, is, this is going back to olden times. This is going back to where you've got two button combos. Um, you jump and you block fireballs. You don't do anything else. Um, and, and that's just what I've wanted. And that's what I expected and that's what I've got. So, I'm really, really happy. I hope you guys are going to enjoy me playing through this. I'm going to play as much as possible. I'm actually away for the next weekend. Um, Street Fighter Tournament. Ho! Oh. So, yeah, I'm going to sit down and play for a good hour, two hours, and see how far we get. And if you guys like the series, obviously we'll continue once I've returned. If not, then I'm just going to play the game anyway, because I'm oozing over it. I really, really am. Anyway, new game. Save one. Yes, we'll overwrite it. And here's the story. Hmm, this looks like the tomb we've been searching for. Yes, that's him. Wake him up. Just look how fit this looks. Listen to the music, it's beautiful. Batherin, awake, your children need you. The land is crying again, wake up. Ugh, go away, spirit. I gave you enough last time. Ah. You still know me, Batherin. Yes, now go away. It is time again, Guardian. Your children need you. I told you, I have no children. Now let me sleep. Well, maybe this will wake you. Ugh, why, spirit? You know what must be done. As soon as you two are united, the demons will prevent. Serve as well again, Batherin. And may fire, ice, and steel prevail. Dum dum dum! Look how fit this looks! Here we are, we are playing Batherin. Um, cool dude, long hair, beard, massive sword. Let's do this. The Blood Grounds. Okay, the first stage. And voila, as you can see, the graphic design is absolutely stunning. There's blood galore. Anyway, Batherin, we meet again. It is an eternal war we wage. I know you not, Abomination. But we will battle. You mortal, my minions will deal with you. Okay, so we're going into the first enemies here. These sort of weird scythe creatures. I'm going to give you a brief explanation of the controls. So, um... As I mentioned, people have complained about the controls. I, I think they're absolutely fine. People have said that there's been, like, some uh, input delay, or it's been overly sensitive. For me, everything is absolutely fine. I'm using an Xbox 360 pad. Um, anyway, so to jump, you just press A. Uh, to attack, you just press X. That's one attack. You can double tap, and you get, like, a little thrust. And if we actually um, connect with an enemy on the second attack, we get a third sort of overhead attack. Um, to block, you press down. You can actually attack out of this as well, which is pretty neat. Uh, to backdash, you press the left bumper, like so. You can hold it in, or you can just press it once. Um, we can't cast any spells yet, but to actually cast like a fireball, it's like a spirit ball, um, you press the right bumper button. And to do a spirit bomb, you press down and the bumper button. That's, that's all I know. This glowing thing here is a checkpoint. And the little angel thing basically regenerates our health and mana. You feel stronger and more capable. Yes, we do, definitely. I've noticed the game, you seem to die really, really quickly. If you're not paying attention to your health, enemies can just 
Jesus, they can just destroy your health. They really, really can. Um, everything does a, quite a lot of damage, and um, I think what you're going to be relying on a lot is the second... Oh, shit. The second strike of your two-hit combo. The little thrust, because it pushes the enemies away. Um, I think that's definitely going to be uh, worth <laughs> utilizing a lot more. See? As you can see, pushes them away, and we can just go straight in. We actually managed to get hit there, which sucks. Okay, the Ancient of Lit the Lands with Deadly Traps. You know what? I'm going to show you this. Let me clear out this enemy, because this is definitely one of the main selling points of Slain. Okay, so under here, there's a spike trap. Watch this. <laughs> it looks so fit, and there you go. You've got the... Uh, the sort of um, screen prompt like you did Dark Souls where it says, You have been slain. But yeah, all the traps seem to do one-hit kills, which is really, really neat. Um, means you've actually got to think about your environment. You're not just going in button bashing in this game, which is nice. Um, and you're not just pressing right. You, you've literally got to think about where, you, where your feet are, where, where you're standing. I've looked at the trailer and there are loads and loads of impressive traps and impressive deaths as well. So uh, we should definitely have some fun with that. I just want to see if you can... Yeah, you can actually cancel your attack. That's really interesting. Can you do it on the second attack? One, two... Yes! Okay, we might have to uh, use that a little bit. <laughs> okay, let's try it here. So, one, two... Yes, you can! Oh, wow, okay. I've just got a lot safer now. You can actually cancel the attack pretty deep as well. Oh, we're cornered! You can actually cancel the attack pretty early. That's really neat. I like that. Okay. The Ancients of the Lands with Deadly Traps. Yes, we know about this one. Okay, deal with those. Um, huh! Oh, thank God. Don't, don't risk stuff like that. The uh, checkpoint system, um, obviously... As of old games, is going to be a pretty annoying little thing. I, I love checkpoints, don't get me wrong. But obviously, if we're going for like 20 minutes, and then there's one checkpoint, and then we die, oh, it's going to suck. But just means you got to play more careful. If any of you guys have played Volgar the Viking, the game reminds me a lot like that. Okay, so here, this demonstrates that we have our decapitate ability, which is by pressing the B button. And what this does, it's pretty long range, pretty slow though. When you actually um, kill an enemy with it, it'll chop off its, off its head and you actually gain mana. So, this will spawn an enemy and... Shink! Shink! As you can see, the range is pretty decent. But to stay out of the enemy's um, way, you've got to kind of... You've got to preempt their attack. Ugh, see, that sucked. Does it give you health? I want to know. Let's just let him chip some health away. Okay, and doesn't seem to give help. That's something I didn't know. Does it? No. Okay. Well, shink. <laughs> Let's get going. Oh, I was going to jump. I was going to be cocky, but I won't. Let us wait. There we go. That's going to be another trap. He'll stay away from you. Okay, this guy looks uh, tough. Yeah. <gasps> he dealt a lot of damage. Okay. We're going to have to be careful with that guy. Let's go... Whoop. Do this straight away. Okay, we can actually... Oh, we can't block him? I was blocking. Okay, eight fireballs. Shit. Oh, thank God. Okay, that heart was full health. Good. I uh, I didn't realize we could block him. Why couldn't we block him? Huh. Maybe there's something like big enemies just do more damage or chip damage through health or something. Not sure. Anyway, well done. You must be the one. You will need all the skills to pass through the tower. Good luck, Bathorian. May fire, ice, and steel prevail. Okay, so 
this sort of introduces another gameplay element. Um, there's two types of stages. There's this type, which we've just been going to the right and, and obviously progressing through. And then there's the tower itself. Now, well, tower levels, we'll call, we'll call them. Basically, these have, like, lots of switches, lots of puzzles. Um, pretty Metroidvania style, and I think that's what the main chunk of the game is going to be about. So it says here, projectiles can be blocked or struck out of the air. Okay, get ready for projectiles. Um, hello, lonely skeleton. You're not going to give me any projectiles? No? Oh, there's one. Okay. That's pretty handy. Oh, shit. Oh, the thrust actually takes them out as well. That's nice. Come here, old man. And he's dead. One hit. Brilliant. Whoa! Whoa! Didn't mean for that to happen. Full health. Thank you. Oh. I wasn't expe expecting that banshee. Okay, stay away. Stay away, demons. When they actually get in, they get in and they hurt. Boom, spirit bomb. Oh, we've actually used all the mana. No! Okay, spirit bomb. Basically, oh shit. Basically what it does, um, you hold down and press B and you actually charge up sort of spirit energy and you'll actually kill all enemies on the screen. Well, as far as I'm aware, you might not kill them, you might damage them. Um, but at this point in the game, we kill everything. And this is sort of where I've got. This is this is where I've got. Um, I'll be honest, I didn't know how to Spirit Bomb. And that's when I looked at the guide. Uh, because the, the, it, it's not very intuitive with regards to, like, telling you controls. It kind of expects you just to guess. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit off. Anyway, you have awoken a red Skeletress. Okay. Is that good or bad? Well, we can attack her from here. I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm guessing it means they're like harder? Maybe more elite enemies? Oh. You're the red skeletress, aren't you? Shit. How am I supposed to deal with that? Huh. Okay, um... Holy crap. Okay, this is where it's going to get tricky. You've been slain. Oh, no. Oh, you know what I said about checkpoints earlier? Oh, shit. Okay, this is going to prove to be difficult. This is going to prove to be difficult, guys. The red skeletress looks uh, pretty tricksy. Project house can be struck. Okay, we know this. Okay, good to know. Projectiles can't hit other projectiles. Shit. Oh my god. We're getting sniped. Die, old man. And whatever you are, floaty weird thing. Okay, full health and mana, nice. Deal with a banshee. Oh, shit. Right. So they just float over me. I don't have to worry about those. Spirit bomb! Boom! Okay, cool. We managed to wrap through them really quickly. We can just pass this guy? Okay. That was just health, not mana. Crap. You've awoken a red skeletress. Okay, so, you're not the Skeletress, this is the Skeletress. How am I supposed to damage this thing?
That kind of works. Oh, Jesus. This is... This is Trixie. Oh, you massive dung. <laughs> okay. So that... It would definitely appear that the decapitation goes further than a normal attack. Does that mean we have to just hit them with decapitations? What? Where did you come from? You were in there last time. Okay, the... Oh my god. There's a slight... Oh, I'm dead. There's a slight delay when you try to jump. You're like stuck in sort of action frames. Like, if I do this, I, I, I can't jump. I'm going to spam jump, watch. When you do the B attack, the decapitation, it's like really delayed. Hmm. Okay, deal with... Oh, shit. Uh. Okay, we can just hop over these. Shit. Oh my god! That spider thing is well annoying, whatever it is. Huh. Eat that old man! Okay, death. Death to you! Oh! Oh, thank you. Full health. I don't mind if I do. Oh, shit. I apologize for my language. Spirit bomb! Okay, they died quickly. Good. We may as well use it now. Okay, let's deal with this guy. I'm just gonna abuse this a little bit. Good. Right, I can't seem to block this guy. Oh my god. Really? Right. One last try. Comboed. Go away, spider demon, whatever you are. Oh, we've got nearly no health. That was really close. Stay away, Banshee. Spirit Bomb's a great way to clear packs of monsters. Okay. Or, I think we can kind of abuse it and do this. Yeah, let's try and keep the Spirit Bomb for the Red Skeletrus. Oh, shit. Okay, maybe we don't need to. Nice, okay. Got the health. I'm walking a red skeleton. Okay, so we'll deal with this thing first. 
And now... How much damage can we do to this? And he's dead! Yes! Bitch! Bitch, please! The scroll wrapped around the hilt of the sword reads, Effective against witches. Oh, cool! I didn't know this was a thing. And, uh, okay, so we're out of there and we're on the hive. I think this is a perfect time to end the episode there. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. If so, please leave a like. And if you want to see more, let me know. Because I want to play this game. I'm J. Take care. And I'll see you bye. Just going to play the game anyway because I'm oozing over it. I really, really am. Anyway, new game. Save one. Yes, we'll overwrite it. And here's the story. Hmm, this looks like the tomb we've been searching for. Yes, that's him. Wake him up. Just look how fit this looks. Listen to the music, it's beautiful. Batherin, awake. Your children need you. The land is crying again. Wake up. Ugh. Go away, spirit. I gave you enough last time. Ah, you still know me, Batherin. Yes, now go away. It is time again, Guardian. Your children need you. I told you. People have actually come into the game with negative thoughts. They've gone, oh, there's, there's no real tutorial. The combat system doesn't have 37 million moves like Devil May Cry. It's like, no, this, this, is, this is going back to olden times. This is going back to where you've got two button combos. Um, you jump and you block fireballs. You don't do anything else. Um, and, and that's just what I've wanted. And that's what I expected and that's what I've got. So I'm really, really happy. I hope you guys are going to enjoy me playing through this. I'm going to play as much as possible. I'm actually away for the next weekend. Um, Street Fighter Tournament. Oh! So, yeah, I'm going to sit down and play for a good hour, two hours, and see how far we get. And if you guys like the series, obviously we'll continue once I've returned. If not, then I'm just running. There's blood galore. Anyway, Batherin, we meet again. It is an eternal war we wage. I know you not, Abomination, but we will battle. You mortal, my minions will deal with you. Okay, so we're going into the first enemies here. These sort of weird scythe creatures. I'm going to give you a brief explanation of the controls. So, um, as I mentioned, people have complained about the controls. I, I think they're absolutely fine. People have said that there's been like some uh, input delay or it's been overly sensitive. For me, everything is absolutely fine. I'm using an Xbox 360 pad. Um, anyway, so to jump you just press A, uh, to attack you just press X, that's one attack, you can double tap and you get like a little thrust, and if we actually um, connect with an enemy on the second attack we get a third sort of... Hello there everybody and welcome to Slain, this is a game that I've been following its production for such a long time, I'm so excited to actually show you guys what this game is about, it got released on Steam last night, there was a little bit of delay with regards to the actual releasing itself, um, literally like a couple of hours, uh, which provoked quite a lot of people, a lot of people have been looking forward to playing this and I can understand why, it's... It scratched an itch that I've had for a very, very long time. I've wanted to play a game that resembles Metroid. It resembles Castlevania. It's got cool art. It's got a cool soundtrack. And it's hard. And this game busts all those in one beautiful package. I'm really, really, really excited to go playing. I've played about five minutes of the game and read a little guide on um, Steam as well. Um, because a lot of... I have no children. Now let me sleep. Well... Maybe this will wake you. Ah, why, spirit? You know what must be done. As soon as you two are united, the demons will prevent. Serve as well against Batherin, and may fire, ice, and steel prevail. Dum dum dum! Look how fit this looks. Here we are. We are playing Batherin. Um. Cool dude, long hair, beard, massive sword. Let's do this. The Blood Grounds. Okay, the first stage. And voila, as you can see, the graphic design is absolutely stunning.